Well, finally happened. It happened. It's not a surprise because we have talked about it for several episodes. And this is what happens when you when you make your life public on YouTube, then you can't pull anything past people because they feel like they are part of your life. Right? Oh, thank you. Yeah. So yesterday, remember that chicken that was sick? I took her out here in the woods and shot her. I did. I took her out here in the woods and shot her because she was really sick. In fact, she got so sick that she it was raining and she was laying in the coop, out exposed in the rain, uh, totally blind and didn't know where she was and she couldn't move. So I was like, well, um, I don't like to see an animal suffer, so I would rather uh, take them out in the woods and execute them. Dead. Dead. Is that chicken dead? Right there. Yeah. Right there. Is that it's is that chicken? chicken good night. Is the chicken dead? Chicken good night. What are you saying? Chicken and Is it sleeping? Is it sleeping? Is it sleeping? No. 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 Now what's uh what's surprising though? Is I actually I took it out here and shot it last night, and I thought that it would be gone. But surprisingly, it's still here. It's moved a little bit, but um, I thought the possums and the raccoons would have taken care of it. Uh, I thought I was helping them out a little bit, but it didn't. She's still here, but she died quickly and um, humanely, and she's no longer sick. Right, buddy? What do you think? Of, what do you think about life? Yeah, you see that chicken? Where's the chicken? Yeah, it's dead. 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 Yeah, dead. Now I know what y'all are thinking. Some of y'all are thinking you're mad at me. You're thinking, how could I be so cruel? You're thinking, Granger, you love God. Don't shouldn't you love all of his creation? I know I, uh, I know some of y'all are thinking that. And I, I say that's okay. You could think you could certainly think that. You have the right to that kind of opinion. Um, you know, you, most of us will eat Chick-fil-A and not think anything about it, about where that chicken came from, the inhumane conditions that that chicken probably grew up in in some factory in Ohio or whatever. And our chickens here have a really good life. We also have been doing this long enough to know when that sickness starts, trust me, we medicated it, there is no taking it to the vet and it comes back to life and gets better and completely heals. We've seen this play out many times. In fact, when the chickens themselves, when the other hens will start pecking at one, they usually know and they, they usually can tell when something is wrong with one of the other hens in the group. It's like, hey, this one's sick and I don't want this in our presence anymore because we don't want the sickness. They have that way of working that problem out themselves. And so all Amber and I could do is separate the chicken, medicate it, watch it. And it's been a couple months since we've done that. When it wasn't getting any better, I think the next humane thing to do is to go ahead and put it out of its misery in the woods and feed the possums and the raccoons. And uh, Amber's gonna see this later and be like, why did you say all that? But, because I just wanna be honest. I have to be honest with this channel. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I got him. I got him. You gonna feed the buck bucks? Buck bucks. You gonna feed the buck bucks? There you go. Now go take it to him. Okay. 
chicken's not in there anymore. We just talked about this, remember? You know where she is? I will my chicken. Can I bring it back at night? Yeah, she's, what is she? She's in the woods, remember what we said? Where's the chicken? She's dead. Dead? Yeah, remember, she's not in there anymore. In fact, I don't want you in there either. She's gone. Gone? Yeah, she's dead. She's not in there. She's in the woods, remember? What? Yeah. Good morning. So I just wanted to show you guys something cute. Usually every time I go in to get my kids, I'll wake them up really sweetly or I always say, good morning, baby. So Maverick had started saying, morning, baby, or hi, baby, whenever I go into his room. So I'm gonna see if he'll do that for you guys this morning. It's so cute. He goes, hi, baby. You gonna go get Bubba or Sissy? Uh, hungry. You hungry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which one? That one. Okay, we're gonna do Sissy's chore. Bird seed. Let's see. Here it comes. It's gonna drop. One more. Open. Open close. Are you mad because you want to play with it? Okay. We're having a problem with hitting and oh scratching lately. Yeah. And screaming. We're gonna we're gonna handle this real quick. Can you say sorry for hitting mama? Sorry, mama. It's okay. Thank you. Having a, a hard time with our emotions. Little body, big emotions. Learning how to not hit, not scratch. Take a breath, say I'm mad. Maybe say I'm mad. He's not mad right now, but we try to teach him to say, if he's frustrated, to say, I'm mad. And then we forgive, right? Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Flower. Great flower. flower. Me and me, come here. Can you get a haircut? Jump. Close the door. Okay. Days with Mavi. I didn't film that hair cutting event because he was not happy about it. I had to hold his head. So we probably have a very uneven haircut today. But I can see your cute face. No. Now no. we're picking up groceries. Picking no. Up, picking up H-E-B. Drink. Drink. Picking up groceries. Sissy has practice tonight. Why don't you take it out? Don't take it out. Out, out. Open. No, because then you always open, spill it. Open. Sissy has volleyball practice tonight. I have a lot of work to do. I need to do a rise. I need to do a rise in five. I need to do, I need, I have a cohort tonight for the Gospel Coalition where we get online together and I'm learning how to teach the Bible. Better. I say better. Like I know how to teach it anyway. I'm, I'm learning how to teach the Bible so that when I share on a rise, I, I know how to properly Cooking. teach the text. Drink it all! Drink it all! Drink it all! So we're waiting. Drink it all! Wait, we're here to fill it. Oh, okay, all right. Gotta go, gotta Wait. go. What are you doing, little man? All right, it's a big day at the Yee farm. The Yee trailer is leaving. Actually, a viewer of the Smiths bought it, right? Yep, the truck is still for sale though. The truck is for sale. But the trailer has been sold. If you wanna buy the truck, let us know. But this trailer is going to South Carolina. So thank you if you're watching. It's a bittersweet day. It's officially gone. This is the last time that this trailer will ever be on the farm, Lord willing. Or on the road going to Granger Ships. 
think it's gonna sit in a fan bought it in Charleston, South Carolina. So I think it's literally gonna sit in like their front or backyard or something like that. So if you're in Charleston, go find it, take a picture, tag us. So if you remember during COVID, Granger had to get rid of the trailer. And then after COVID, we were able to get it back. And so, I don't know, it's just always kind of comforting to see the Yee Yee trailer uh, here on the farm. So it's a sad day. But maybe, Lord willing, Park Park, we'll get a fleet of these. You'll see them going across the country because we're gonna be in stores everywhere across the country one day. This is uh, just the beginning. It's a little bit sad. It's the end of one chapter and the beginning of the next. It's all in God's hands and um, we're excited. We are in the very beginning stages of getting Yee Yee into stores, Yee Apparel. So if there's any stores you wanna see Yee in, let us know below. So hopefully the, just the beginning of another chapter, but it's definitely goodbye to the, the trailer. So we'll say goodbye to her now.